Hey guys and welcome back to another Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be setting up a camera shake for being idle and for running. So previously I've done one for walking and I was asked to adapt it to do idle and running as well. And now you don't need to do the walking one for this to work, however I'd recommend it because then you get all three, you get idle, walking and running. And this is great for if you've got a first person like we have here, but it's just a camera, there's no mesh or animations, so it still looks good. So let me hit play and show you what it's going to look like. So when we're idle, we're going to have the camera just swaying from side to side like this. And you can customize this to make it move more, move less, move up and down, stuff left and right. You can customize it to get it however you want. But this is what I've got. And obviously when we're walking, we have this, what we set up last time. And then when we run, it gets a little bit more violent. Now this is quite violent for me. We're quite fast and it's moving quite a bit. But this is just to show you how it works and just show it working and show it off like this. And if I stop running, I'm going to go back to just normal walking. And then if I stop... We'll go back to idle like so. So this is what we're going to make today and you can see that they smoothly and nicely blend between each other as well. It doesn't just snap. So like I say, we're going to make this today. So let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create our camera shakes again. So like I say, I've got my walking camera shake from last time. This time I'm also going to create my running and idle as well. So a very simple way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to duplicate this one. However, actually I will make one from scratch as well just in case you don't have that. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to blueprint class and I'm going to search here, so open the all classes and we're going to search for a camera shake and you select camera shake there and hit select and you can name this whatever you want so I'll name this one idle camera shake like so and then open it up straight away and now you might be greeted with this screen or possibly this screen, let's see if it opens yes, yeah, so you might be greeted with this screen or this screen it doesn't matter which one you're in we can access the same variables that we have here if you'd prefer this one, just press open full blueprint editor there. So what I'm going to do is, again, you can mess about with these values. So I'm going to use this as a reference. So you can see here the oscillation duration and the blend in and out times. So I'm going to do the same thing. So the oscillation duration, I'm just going to hold down 9 and press enter. So it's the maximum amount of time it can be. So it perfectly loops for as long as we need it to. Blend in and out, I'm going to set to 0.4 like that, as that's what I found to be a nice smooth duration and again you can change that to whatever you like but that's what I found to be good for me. Now for the rot oscillation we don't want to change the pitch but we do want to change the yaw and roll. So for the yaw I'm going to have the amplitude as 0.5 and the frequency as 3. Now the amplitude is essentially how dramatic or how violent it is so how much it's going to actually sway and move left to right on the yaw and then the frequency is obviously how much it's going to do it by. So I might put that down to about 2 or let, now let's say 1 so it's double the amplitude. And then the initial offset we're going to have is zero. So it's the same each time, it's not random. Again, you can put it as random if you want. That might be better for you, but for me, I'm going to have zero. And we'll leave the waveform as sine wave. Now the roll, I'm going to also put as 0.5 on the amplitude. And I'll do 0.5 frequency as well. And I'll have zero as the initial offset. And that's what we need to do in here. So that is the camera shake set up for our idle. So we can compile and save that. And what I'm going to do and I'm also going to set up the run one now as well so we can use it later on easily. So I'm just going to minimize this, or close it, sorry, and I'm going to right click on one of these, duplicate it, and name it running camera shake instead. And the reason I'm duplicating it is because then we have these values here and we just easily change them. So for running, so for running I want to keep the oscillation the same, but I want to not have anything in the yaw. And in the roll I want to have 3 on the amplitude, 6 on the frequency and again, zero on the initial offset. That's just because I want to make it a bit more violent from a running. Now you might not want it to be this big, you might want it to be two and five instead of three and six or anything like that. However, these are the values which I liked when I was testing out earlier. So we can compile, save, and close that. Now we want to actually set it up so we can play these. And we're gonna be doing that in our character blueprint. So I'm gonna to go to content, first person BP, blueprints, first person character. And you can see down here, this is where I have the code for starting and stopping the walking camera shake which we set up last time. So we can do something similar. Again, I'll do it from scratch in case you don't have that. So I'm going to right click, add a custom event, name this one start or play idle CS for camera shake. And then I'm going to right click, get another custom event and name this one stop idle CS. And this means that we can then call these functions dependent on when we want to start and stop the idle camera shake. So we're also going to right click, get player camera manager there, so we want to change the player's camera obviously. And out of this, we're going to play camera shake, plugging that into the start event there. 
the shake class we can just select as our idle camera shake that we just made and then we can leave all the values the same like this the return value I'm going to drag out that and stop camera shake not connecting the execution just the target plugging that into the stop idle CS there and we're going to untick immediately so it nice and smoothly blends out instead of just snapping the target will go into get player camera manager there and so now we can select that hit C to comment it and have this as idle camera shake or play and stop idle camera shake anything that you want to name it so we compile and save and I want this to play straight away so when we begin the game we're going to be idle so I want it to play the idle camera shake so we're just going to hold down P and left click to get event begin play or if you've already used it you can search for it and it should take you to it if you have already used it hold down S left click to get sequence plugging in the code you already have into then 0 and the code that we're about to do into then 1 and the code we're about to do is very simple it's just simply call function start idle cs so that we can start this camera shake like so that we've just made and it's that simple now when we start the game we'll have an idle camera shake so let's compile and save and we'll see if this works so we start the game and we've got an idle camera shake it's just slowly swaying from left to right it gives us this nice gentle effect of the player idling like so so we can close that and I can get on with the rest of it. So now what's going to happen is it still will use the code from last time. So when we start walking, it will play our walking camera shake, which is obviously perfectly what we want. However, we then also want to make sure that when we stop walking, we'll go back to the idle. And then if we start running, we'll go to run so we can switch between them all. So again, if you don't have this code, this is what it is. So you can copy it here or you can go watch that video, which I made last time. Again, that's only if you really want to do the walking one, but you basically use these values here to get the speed. So we're seeing if the player's moving, and according to that value, we're going to start or stop the camera shake. So then to merge the idle with this, what we're going to do is simply come off of start camera shake and then stop the idle camera shake. So stop idle CS, making sure that goes back into the reset of that do once there. And for stop camera shake, we're going to play idle camera shake. Play idle CS, what do I name it? Start idle CS, there we go. And that goes into the reset of that do once as well. So now this is going to merge between our walking and idle camera shakes perfectly like so. So now we also want to set up our running. So up here I have a very basic run code. What I'm doing is I'm just holding left shift to double the walk speed. And when I let go, it's going to go back to normal. So what I want to do is I want to select this get velocity, the four checks and the or, and I'm going to control C and control V to paste it up here. And this is because we want to see if the player is now running. So this is going to see if they're walking, this will see if they're running. So we're going to move this code out a little bit like so I'm going to hold down B, left click to get a branch plugging that into the true of this branch and then the false of this new one will go into that do once there and this condition will be this or boolean this or boolean that we have there and in these values we're going to change it from 1 to 650 or your sprinting speed so I know that if the player speed is 650 or minus 650 then we're going to be sprinting which is obviously what we want to happen so again customize that for the perfect values for you so if we're walking and we're not sprinting, it's going to do this. But if we're walking and sprinting, it will do what we have up here. And what we want to have up here is our sprint code. So let's set that up as well. So we're going to right click, add another custom event, although we can actually just duplicate this whole code here for our idle camera shake. Control C, Control V, change the comment to be sprinting camera shake, and we'll just change the values. So this custom event, I'm going to rename to play run CS. And this one we'll rename to stop run cs we compile that should fix those warnings now we'll also change the idle camera shake to be running camera shake like so and what we want to do here as well is just before the stop camera shake we want to come out the return value and get an is valid node with a question mark there plugging that in just between the stop and the start and the stop camera shake and then is not valid we're not going to anything and is valid we're going to the stop and this is just because we might actually end up calling this event before we start playing the camera shake so with these ones it doesn't matter because we're only going to be stopping the idle or walk after we've started it but this one it might happen before we start it so obviously if we haven't started it we can't stop it which will give us errors which is why we have this is valid here so now that we set that up we can implement that into our code as well so we come back up here off of true what we're going to do is simply just hold down o left click to get another do once plugging that in there like so completed we're going to play run cs like that and then this we're going to the reset of this do once down here again and then also our stop idle down here we also want to get stop run cs 
which is why we went back into this reset here. So when we start running, we can stop it too. And then stop run CS, we'll go into the reset of that do once, and also this one up here as well. So then when we start walking, we're gonna reset this as well. And I'll actually also put idle in there, just in case we start idling before resetting that. And we can only come out of that once. So what I'm gonna do is hold down S, left click to get a sequence out of these. Sorry, so that's my bad. We'll get a sequence and then zero, we'll go into the reset up there. Then one, we'll go into the reset down here. Then zero, we'll go into the reset up there and then one up there. So I don't, what I mean by up there is just the different do onces that we have here. So there's quite a lot of lines. So you can double click these to get reroute nodes just to keep them nice and organized. However, I'm not gonna bother too much with it, but this is what we can have here. So we get something a bit like this. And again, you might wanna clean this up a little bit more for you so it looks a little bit better and not as messy. But again, this is just the base code for merging between idle, run, and walk camera shakes that we have here. So I'm just gonna extend this comment to reach all of this here. I'll rename it to, well, use camera shake when moving, that works. So now if we compile and save, we can minimize and hit play to test to see if this is working. So we're standing still, we've got this nice idle camera shake here. If I start walking, we've got the walking camera shake. If I start running, we have the running camera shake. And again, that's still quite violent, so you might want to change the values, just lower them a little bit. Again, you can customize it to get it perfect for you. If we stop running, we're gonna have the walking camera shake again. And if we stop walking, we're gonna have the idle camera shake. And again, it nicely smoothly merges between all of them. So what we can do is again, lower any values if you want. So if I minimize this and open up my running camera shake, what I might do is just lower the values a bit. So amplitude of two instead, I'll leave it at three, but maybe put the frequency down to four. Now we can see how less violent this is gonna be. So you can see it's not as bad. It still goes all the way down to left and right, but it doesn't do it as much or as quickly. So I think that's a little bit better. So again, that's how easy it is to customize and change it around to get it perfect for you. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. Like I said, we've set up this system in which we have an idle, walking and running camera shakes like so, and we can easily merge between all of them. Also easily changing the values for all of these in the camera shakes here. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.